Hello everybody, it's your girl Connie Kenneth and welcome back to my channel. Listen, if you're new here, make sure you subscribe. Just support, you know, just support. It's free of charge, okay? So, uh, so it can just like motivate me to bring you more videos. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and make sure you tell a friend to tell a friend, to tell another friend, and to tell all of them, okay? So listen, I am so excited for today's video because this video will just take me back to my roots, you know, to the Rurasho. So that's a traditional wedding in Kenya. And so in this time, it's uh, with the Kikuyu. So I guess it's in Nakuru because that's where African traveler comes from. And so the title is My Sister's Traditional Wedding, so Rurasho. So I am so excited for this one. I feel we're going to dance a little bit, you know. So let's see how this one goes. And yeah, let's get straight into this one. If you have seen the scene, um, so you have the, I guess, the groom's family uh, on the other side of the gate. So what you have right now is inside the, you know, the, the girl's house. So the groom's family actually saying, uh, knock, 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 uh, please let us in. And then the, 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 the bride's family is like, no, there is no, there is nothing about knock, knock, knock. We're not going to let you in. And so it's going to be like, kind of like a negotiation. So they have to pay a little bit for, you know, for them to be allowed into the girl's family. So this is going to be so nice to see. And I thank you so much, African Traveler, for allowing us and allowing the world to see how the Russia weddings take place and you know like in an authentic traditional kikuyu tradition how it goes about so outside the gate the groom's family asking to be let in into they're like nope 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 so let's see how the negotiations go <laughs> Look at how beautiful they are. I love the colors. You know, you have the 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 beads. Oh my goodness, the 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 necklaces. Everything is on point. The color code. Good job. Love it. <laughs> so we have we have our fastborn system. Oh, look at how um you know light bulb moments look so nice. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so, how are you feeling about your day? I'm so much excited and uh, humbled and I thank God. You're looking beautiful. You're hello, great people, African traveler again. And yeah, today is a D day for my sister's uh, Rurashio, which is mm -hmm. the African, the Kikuyu wedding. And Nakuru is beautiful. Listen, I don't know which side, this must be the Bahati area or something. But I don't know. Oh my goodness, Naku is so beautiful. So if you haven't watched my reaction to African travelers, um, you know, uh, visit of Nakuru town and the surroundings, make sure you check that one out because it was so nice. It just brought back so many beautiful memories. So look at the green, you know, so nice. And uh, so much to expect today. I don't know what it's going to be. Uh, probably is an opportunity to show you more members of my family, mm -hmm. you guys get to see them and meet them. So yeah, my sister's gonna uh, be wedded today. Um, nah, she's not. Uh, not like uh, it's just they're, they're confirming their marriage. I don't know their mm -hmm. wedding vows or something. Uh, yeah. But, yeah, uh, because you have different steps. You have the traditional marriage, so that's a Russia where um, you know. Uh, so I guess in the beginning, you just take your girlfriend. To meet the parents and then when you want to you know to marry them then you organize the ratio so that's the dowry you know the dowry um uh party i would say or you know festivities and then you have the marriage at you know in church or whatever uh yes it's not a new wedding uh they have about 
uh, two kids. So yeah, okay. all kids. Uh, but today is just to confirm. Right. The man comes to confirm like, hey, yeah. Um, I'm here. I'm here not to run. Yes, exactly. And you know what? Uh, in the in the Kikuyu tradition, um, for example, let's say you're you're just like what we say, come we stay. Um, and then you have children, especially if you have daughters, you cannot you cannot in any way whatsoever receive dowry from your daughter if your if your husband or your companion has not paid dowry for you. So you have in so many situations um, where the women pay dowry for themselves. So let's say they 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 divorced or um, their their boyfriend or their husband died, or if your your the person with whom you live hasn't paid dowry for you, you have some women who go ahead and they pay dowry themselves so that they can also in turn receive dowry from their children. You cannot skip a step so that's a kikuyu tradition that's how it is so i understand why now they have two children if they have girls or boys or a boy and a girl but in either way they can no, there is no way you can receive dowry if you haven't paid dowry yourself so it makes sense in a way but here to stay so yeah right. so I'm going, I'm, I'm, it's, it's very it's morning hours i'm going to show you guys uh the preparation status and yeah during the day i'll be updating you guys the progress so yeah. I don't know how you like it. Leave, love it. it. leave a comment on the description. Oh yeah, love it. Honestly, love it, love it, love it. The colors are on point. You know, I love it. Description box. More preparation and going. <laughs> yeah, but how about the social distancing? You know, uh, is it still applied in Kenya or? Because I know when it comes to weddings, rushes, the dowries. I mean, people come in numbers. People come in buses, in Nissans. You know. So I don't know if that will be respected or uplifted. I don't know. Let's see. <laughs> hey, we have some chapati here. Oh, ah, oh, 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 mandazi. Oh yeah, some mandazis right there. Mm. Some buns here. Kumbari. Apa ni nyama pia? No chapo, more chapati here. Wow. I'm salivating already. I am salivating already. Why? Why? Oh my goodness. Oh, he is still. Ah, my father here. Hello, Dad. Hello. How are you? Oh yeah, you, he looks so much like African traveler. You can tell. You know, there are some jeans, some strong jeans there. Fine, fine. <laughs> some more meat. I want to show you what we need Have some bananas. Oh, yeah, some bananas. Plantain. But is it? Wow. Yeah, if you don't know what uh, uh, plantain bananas are, so you, they're the green ones, the ones you cook, okay, and not the sweet ones. So. Those ones you can make different dishes with salty dishes. Stew, 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 left, right, and center. Uh, mm. Meat. Huh? Wow, look at oh, that. Wow. Oh, wow. They're marinating. Oh, those are. You can think they're making some soup or something because I can. You can see it's it's a goat skull, you know. And I know that soup. It's healthy, nutritious. It's mmm. It's so good. So it looks like it. So this must be a marinated meat or something. Oh, wow. wow, grilled meat. What did he say? Wow, look at that. Wow, wow. wow. grilled meat, guys. Grilled meat. Yeah. Why do you do me like this? Why are you doing me like this, African traveler? For real. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, my goodness. I need to come home. I need to come just for the food and and the culture. Mm. Um, whoa, whoa. So in, in Kenya, Sherea uh, is Sherea. A party is not a party without meat, uh, roasted mm. meat. Wow, wow. Mm. Look at this. Mm. Oh, so soup. This soup. Yep. Oh, so we're going to take soup in the morning. Yeah. Ah, and uh, before you roast the meat, do you need it first or my this is boiled meat? Uh, and, uh, and then, oh. Oh, I told you, I told you, 
Yeah, that's goat uh, skull. This was a goat, eh? Goat, goat. Mm. Wow. Yeah, no, How many goats did you slaughter? Five. Five, five goats. Mm. Wow, wow. It's a big, it's a big party, guys. It's a big mm. party. I'm gonna show you how it's gonna go. And yeah, I'm going, I'm going to wait for the soups. How, how long will it, will it stay? You can take it even now. It's it's almost ready. Wow, na kujia sa hizi. Na some, uh, but this is not motora. Ihu, ah, dear my. Ihu, is that the stomach? Wait, because we say when a pre when a woman is pregnant in Kikuyu, we say ena ihu. <laughs> yes, I speak Kikuyu. So I guess it must be the um, the 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 stomach, right? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So basically, Ihu, So this is tumbo ya domo, stomach, stomach uh, <laughs> of the mouth. Operation uh, can see potatoes. What do you mean? It's, what do you mean stomach of the mouth? What do you mean? Do they have like? Is it the thing that hangs here? I need to find out. Okay, okay. I thought it was like the stomach, really, you know? I don't know. Let me know in the comments below what what exactly is the body part. Is it, I don't know. Just let me know in the comments below, please. <laughs> so what is happening here? Here? Mm -hmm. I'm marinating. Oh, this is marination. Yes. Mm -hmm. traditional marination of Wow, Kenyan style. So I can it's see a, this is marination. This is uh, you have um, on, uh, you have lemon, you have lemon, onions, dania, coriander. coriander. Wow, mm. and salt. Oh, and salt. Mm. There's no vinegar. Oh my goodness, those ribs that look like ribs will be so tasty. That's how you should make the meat, and I do it too. I do it as well. I like marinated in garlic. Uh, and some uh, and some lemon, some onions, of course, and some coriander or parsley if I have, and um and yeah, and just some salt and a little bit of you know pepper, and that's all. So it's so good. Go anything? No, no, no. Wow, wow, wow. What is happening here? What's happening? Mm. I see this is uh, my uh, my liver, liver, kidney, kidney, heart. Oh, the heart. Yep. Um, so this is being cooked special. Yeah, special. Mm. Which will be fried. Oh, this will be fried. Huh? Yep. Um. I'm just wondering, is this a catering service or something? Because it looks like, or because I know back in the days, the aunties used to come, the neighbors, the friends used to come, and everybody used to cook together. It was like a be a swarm of people who would come and help for the event. But I know some people nowadays just. Um, you know, just pay some catering services, which is much easier, I believe, because it's their job. So they're more organized. Everybody has a post, you know. So yeah, I I I, I don't know. So is it are this your uncles, your family, or something? Uh, this is for a traditional uh, dish, which is mokimo. Oh, for mokimo. Mm, yeah. Oh. Uh, and we have yeah, to... but just to answer my question, okay, but of course, leave a comment below. Uh, I look like they have aprons on, and men, if it's your uncle, will not, okay, will not <laughs> cook, you know, the wife will. So I guess it's a catering service, but l let's see, maybe they will talk about it, but that's my two cents. French, French have been here. You can make in anything of these dishes. Oh, here. Yeah. Amazing, amazing. It's a big. Yeah. Oh, let me see, let me see. So, guys, this was uh, basically constructed just to cut off for the cooking. Okay. Chai already. See, tea in plenty, guys. I told you guys, Kenya is a. Nini naiderea hapa, kunakashai. I love the change of, you know, oh, that's so nice. Country of tea. Wow, ukuru kumoto. So pilau is rice. Oh my god, I must always make it. Ooh. Yeah, pilau is spicy, um spicy rice. You you use the pilau masala, so that's a spice and it's so good. If you want to spice up your rice, then you should most definitely buy the pilau masala. <laughs> <laughs> I did some final touches on the, the walls. 
preparation seat on both sides of the building. Mm. Guys, some breakfast here with Josh, Maria. Hi, Josh. Before you, we face the big day. Yeah, and Josh Moore, for those of you who don't know him, so uh, does some very nice drone shots um, as well. So, good job. Maria. Before you, yeah. we face the big day right. ahead, so right. need some strength. Yeah. So we're taking some tea here. Yeah, yeah. that's my favorite breakfast. It's mandazi and uh, and sausages. Oh my goodness, and sausages! I can eat those all day, every day. Mandazi and the sausages. So the ratio basically is a dowry payment. Mm -hmm. You can see the venue. Remember the first time in the morning? Totally a big contrast. Mm -hmm. Very nice setup. So we're in Akuru, a place called Bahati. Ah. Yeah. That's all. Nice. Yeah, I know because that sector is very green and it's uh, the, you just have find mostly farms. So maybe you. I the last time I was there, there were barely barely homes or residences. So okay. You can see. So you expect about a hundred to hundred and fifty visitors. Mm. And uh, yeah. To, I'm putting it towards the yeah, decoration. Oh, okay. Sterling Hotel. Sterling? Sterling Hotel. Okay. Yeah. Sterling so Hotel. It's a catering service. So Charlie Touch events. Big up you guys because you did a great job. The colors, the organization, everything looks perfect. Charlie Touch events. Charlie Touch. Charlie Touch events. Charlie Touch event. Okay. So where can you guys be found? Now, Fanya. Be found in uh, in Capsabet. Uh huh. In Capsabet town. Yeah. At Sterling Hotel, Capsabet. At Sterling Hotel. Mm -hmm. We do decorations for weddings yeah. and all events. And all events. And event. we also event organizers. Oh, so do you guys limited? Because right now in Akuru, so you do event across the country. We do across the country. Oh, across the country. Yeah, wherever you can get a client. Ah. Uh -huh. Never gone out of the country. Ah. Uh -huh. I wish one day. You wish one day to go out of the country. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, I love your decoration. It's amazing. Right. Thank you. It's amazing. It looks beautiful. Mm. Wow. Wow. Ah, it, was. Ah, it looks really nice. Mm. So, so. Mm. so how is the view? Uh, so have you considered the social distancing and everything? Ah, yes, that is actually what we've done. Eh? Yeah. Because when you see, we see we've, we've set up a 200-seater ah, yeah. for only 100 people. Meaning um, that we've considered the social distance. Oh. Otherwise, 200 mm. people could be able to sit here. But oh, we've, but we've separated. We've separated. Different. Yes, mm -hmm. we keep the social distance, but we can have only 100 people sitting there so for awesome. the purpose of social distance. Yeah. Amazing, amazing. And, and, and the best thing is that yeah. all my workers have been vaccinated, tested and vaccinated. That's all good. your workers have been tested and yes. vaccinated? Yes, in fact, they have gone for the second one. Oh, oh, yeah, that's very good. That's perfect. Oh. See, we are also going around, so we have to also take care. Oh, you're, 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 you're actually in, on, the, on the front line, yes. in short. Right. Surely. So yeah, mm -hmm. that's a very good consideration for your staff. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, so Asante Zana. Uh, uh, your name again? My name is Peter Chalita. Uh -huh. I'm the director. Asante. Okay. So uh, how can they get, uh, if they want to get your uh, your company online? Uh, Do you have some Facebook or Facebook? Yes, I have a Facebook page. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Charlie Touch Events. Mm -hmm. Charlie Touch Events. Yes. Okay. So, mm -hmm. guys, look at this. Oh, my ah. God. Mm. Oh. Mm. It's done by Sterling, guys. From the tent to the cooking. Upishi. I can see the soup. I can see I don't know what bird is that, so if you know, leave a comment. I have no idea, but they look to be their home. They look so comfortable. <laughs> they want to come to the party. They want to participate, you know. <laughs> Aww. So the birds have been knocking the window ever. Like since the first time we woke up until now, it's just like tick tick. But I read somewhere birds don't see the mirror, so I don't know how to explain that. But yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. They want to come in. The shish, the shish is well. Huh? Before, before, before the makeup. <laughs> Let's see the after. Huh? Yes, after. So, oh, where we get in the hotel? See two four. Yeah, looking for 
Okay, so there are YouTubers. Are they your cousins, your sisters? Uh, the one in the middle looks like your sister. There are some, you know, resemblances. So let me know in the comments below if you know the two beautiful ladies. I'm waiting for the banners. Is that light bulbs doing the makeup? <laughs> oh, she looks like yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. All right, I think it's she's a, it's a light bulb. We can't really see it with the light uh, behind, so she's the one in charge of the makeup. You know, the bride's makeup. How are you, Shosho? Oh, I miss my Shosho so much. May she rest in peace. You people, let me tell you, Kenyans are happy people. You can see every time people are always smiling, happy to be together. When families come together, it's a whole vibe. It's a vibe, you know. So I'm, I, I, I just feel. You know, I just feel like I'm part of, you know, you guys because, you know, the, the vibe that I get is the same vibe that I get when I'm with my family. So, I love it. I'm appreciating every other time. Yeah. So, guys, they're a dope musician. Huh? So, guys, subscribe to the channel and share the link. Okay. Uh, the music Kenya. I would love to react to your music with you guys. The copyrights, the copyrights of YouTube are crazy. Unless if you allow me to react to one of your music, it will be like pleasure. So if you get to watch um, this reaction, so King Caesar Music Kenya, uh, if you get to re to get, if you get, you know, you guys, you made me so hungry with all the food and everything. So I can't even talk. I can't even talk. So <laughs> I was saying. If King sees a music K, I I would love to react to uh, your music, but you need to allow me to use it so YouTube doesn't bring the, you know, my video down. So if you get to see this video, make sure you comment down below and tell me, okay, Miss Connie, you can use our music. We allow you to do it. So I would love to. So, so guys, uh, we are waiting. This is a tradition, and we're waiting for them to beg. Oh, I am really looking forward to this part. I guess, like I said, remember, guys, the groom will be on the other side of the gate, the family inside. So they have to, you know, they have to bribe them in a way so they can allow them to come in. We open for the door. So uh, let me show you how it goes in our culture. So the ladies are the ones to invite them. Oh my goodness. So on this side is the bride. The bride and the other side is the bridegroom. They're asking for... I'm so stressed, you guys. I feel like I'm there because when you go to these marriages, let me give you a story uh, of my parents, okay? So my dad went to pay a dowry uh, to my, um, for my mom, right? And so they were already, I mean, been together for so long. Uh, all, I mean, all my siblings were born. Like, I mean, it was, you know, just like an African traveler's family. And so when we went for the dowry, right? So my mom was in a room 
and she could not get out of that room before the negotiations ended. So it meant that you're in a way, um, I remember my dad was so frustrated because she, he, he gave everything he had because you come with your uncles and this and that and that. But because my mom was educated and now, you know, they had been together for years before the diary was paid. So, of course, you have to pay for all those years as well. So it was a, it was a stressful moment. And finally, they decided to, um, they came, you know, they found... A com um, you know, common ground. So we came to a compromise and the negotiations ended, I think it was like the whole afternoon. Um, so, so that's why I'm so anxious right now. I'm like, oh my goodness, maybe this one will be <laughs> smooth, I guess, but I feel like I'm there with you guys. It's, uh, oh, love it. Oh. They're asking to be allowed to come in and uh, if they come in without, you know, knocking on the door and requesting for approval they will be charged a fine so yeah and the only people who allow the mean are the ladies so this is it the visitors are here in plenty Guys, as visitors come in, they need to come putting the car just uh, to signal for them, for us to allow them to come in. Yeah. So it's a lady affairs. So the ladies have to be suited, you know, they have to be given something for them to open the door. Yeah, so something very interesting. Yeah. They have to be paid something, not to be paid, just to be appreciated with something for them to open the door for the other party to come in. As you can see, you have some who come with bananas, you have some, um, some flour. You know, you can see the, yeah, you can see the, the jogo, what's, what's that? Uh, I think it must be the chapati flour. So you, they come with presents. They come with kiondos. So those are the traditional bags. You know, they come with leso. So that's the wrap, you know. And so, um, and just women, you know. And so it's, it's such a beautiful thing to assist to watch and oh my goodness it's it's just um it's i love the culture and it's so beautiful <laughs> Yeah, so they're saying knock 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 you know like hello we're here so you can see them putting uh this is that uh, a sign that hey we're here and uh, it's a celebration so the women come like the women yeah and then on the other side yeah they're saying um, they're like, no, 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 we, you're, you're not coming in, you know, you're not. The ones who, like, knock on the door and uh, they come, they sing, it's like they ask to be allowed in. And you can see they sing, they have some gifts, some bananas, some flour, yeah, just to appease the other family. And on the other side, they have to convince the other ladies on the other side just to allow them to come in so that, yeah, they can take their daughter. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So she's you. I, I don't know if you've seen that. Have you peeped that? Yeah. So she's giving. I guess it's some money, and then the, the. I. I mean, she was about to, you know, to what do you say, you know, to stick her fingers on the gate and hurt her. So. <laughs> it's no jokes you're not coming in so so she's given some money they're going to count i don't know if they will accept let's see so on one end here on the other end uh, which is the host side they say which means 
are like you're not welcome here and on this other on this other side yeah. of where the visitors are coming they're just trying to say hey can we come in and uh, the main purpose is just to say like hey you're not coming okay. empty handed so yeah you have to please the ladies yeah so that's the second one they've given a second hand out first yeah. so the ladies play a big role in kikuyu her culture and uh there we go we're coming in we're coming in we're coming in it's okay it's okay it's okay so the party can begin let's go it's called mundi that is where it's like our matriarch for the kikuyu for, for the kikuyu people the women play a big role in every every angle of the, uh, of the first time is all of yeah so where are kamu you know, it's a kikuyu way of saying welcome. Okay, it's the same. It's just, you know, we as kikuyu, we, we have a very rough time saying the R's, okay? So I guess back, back in the days, um, somebody just said welokamu and then it just stayed, okay? So it's welokamu, okay? So welcome. So welcome, guys. Enough the second time they're giving them. And yeah, finally, we can start. <laughs> lost her weave oh my goodness so i will not rewind okay no shaming so but that was a uh, funny she almost lost her weave <laughs> Prayers, very important. So, and me, this up just to you know, welcome now. It's, uh, mm. Before anything, we just have meal. Those are more than a hundred people. That's uh, that's a uh, double or triple. But you know what? It's a party, you know, and ah. Uh, Look at the food, it looks so nice. You can see some pilau, some white rice, some meat here and there. Then we go to the next stage. Mm. Mm. Hey, we, we're not here to play, okay? You just don't play with the stomach before the real negotiations start. You know, people have to be full, okay? Before anything else. And I love the mukimo, the green mukimo. Oh, I love it. Yeah, so minji is the peas. So this is something you will never see in Europe. Like you first eat the the main dish and then you eat your dessert. So the fruits come like you just don't mix up everything. But I guess is it in Somalia? Uh, I saw uh, on one of Wodemaya's videos um, that they put bananas in the food, and most foods are accompanied, um, you know, with bananas. So 
so this is typically African where you mix the, the salty, the, the sugar and everything. But um, in Europe, uh, most of the time, well, all times, it's always at the end. You finish your dish first, then you go for the dessert if you still have room for uh, dessert. <laughs> Okay, so does it mean that um, African traveler, your sister, is married to a non Kikuyu? Because if they're translating, then that must be uh, the case. So, okay, love it. Yeah, great. <laughs> Um, so dowries or rushes are the perfect time for both families to come together to get to know each other to introduce each other um, you know to the siblings to the uncle to the aunts or grandparents and so on so it's a very important event because it's a it's a way for families to come together you know as one because now they make one family so it's fantastic <laughs> Yeah, that's where the serious business begins. Serious business. Uh, just show you a brief, but cannot be broadcast. <laughs> okay so back in the days um so i mean from what my grandma t told me right it was more uh with um uh what do you call it uh just you know it was like butter trade you know where you you know a dowry was cows the number of cows and then with um, with the drinks and with the with the shukas, you know those those are fabrics. I don't know how it's, yeah fabrics. Um, then the the traditional baskets, the kiondo. So it was like material stuff. So you were you had to pay for a woman's dowry with that. So it was it had nothing to do with money. But today it has really changed and evolved. So of course you still have not cows, you know, but you have some presents. So you have like you know like you said, beginning people come with flour with um with maize flour or you know wheat flour then they come with drinks um they come with uh, some few things like that and then now it's the cows have been converted to to um to cash you know to money so that's where the it, it becomes difficult you know the, the family gives um i guess the highest price and they try and negotiate or 
um, the, 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 the groom's family says, listen, we have this amount. And then the, the bride's family says, no, wait a minute. I mean, so it just keeps, you know, it's a, it's a real negotiation uh, that takes place and they have to reach an agreement. So when they agree on the dowry, then the festivities are over. The party can now begin, continue or begin. However, it depends on the order of how things go. But yeah, so it's a fantastic um, uh, part of the dowry. <laughs> yes, you see, she was in a separate room while everything was going on. And that is the most stressful part, you know, for for a lady Um for a lady's diary. Let me know in the comments below. I hope African Traveler uh, or Lightbulb, you will show this to your sister and your sister-in-law. And I would love to know her thoughts. What was going through her head at that particular moment? Was she stressed? Was she anxious? What, what was really going on? Because when you're in that room, of course, you're with the other ladies in the, in, you know, your friends or your sisters. So they help, you know, they just help you cheer up and stuff like that. But before the dowry ends, you cannot get out of that room. You know, you're prisoner in that room. So, okay, yeah, so exactly what has happened here. So, yeah. Yeah. congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> yes oh my goodness yes i had forgotten that you know then you have to so when when the when the diary has been you know negotiated and they've come uh to an agreement then the, the girl comes back to the room and so sees um you know those who took part in the negotiation so the aunties the grandma the uncles and the, the parents and so on and then you have to take a, it's symbolic you know you take a bottle of of soda and then you give them and you thank them if it's the mom for raising um you know for raising their their son and you know because you know and also you just you just you're just grateful you know to those especially the parents to the the husband or the wife and you just tell them thank you so oh yeah i'd forgotten this part yeah <laughs> Oh yeah, right. That's what she said. She just said uh, you did a great job, you know, uh, bringing my my husband to 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 life. Actually, you know, for giving birth to uh, my husband. So that's what she just said. Oh, it's so lo I love it. Okay. All right. So you remember the translation? So no, her husband is Kikuyu as well because I just heard him speaking in Swa in Kikuyu. So no. We agree on the uh, dowry payment. Uh, uh, they usually celebrate uh, by taking a drink. Uh, traditionally, it used to be still use still a uh, uh, traditional drink called Moratina, uh, which is a traditional beer for Kikuyu people. Uh, but uh, my parents being start Christians, uh, so we. Mamas are so funny during events, you know, they are so funny. So she just said, like, just raise your hand if you're sure that, you know, you're, there, there's nothing wrong with your armpit, like, you know, maybe no hair hanging out or no, you know, smell or something. So, oh my goodness, that is so funny. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
mwana ekeni mwigitu ekeni siake na mwana ekeni siake tumia ekeni siake okay so that's a groom so we haven't seen him much you know he seems to be a little bit discreet you know uh, okay so nice to meet you end of our day today so please don't forget to like subscribe share and share your feedback as much as possible thank you and have a great and lovely time thank you yeah guys same 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 um let me see if i can have a beautiful image of the grooms uh, yeah there we go listen guys i had a fantastic time I was there with with African travelers family. I just it just brought back so many beautiful memories and I'm so happy to have relieved this moment through your camera African traveler and nice to see everybody and that you guys had a lovely time. The dishes were on point, the colors were on point. The bride and the groom are looking so good. So yeah, that was fantastic. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed my reaction, make sure you hit the subscribe button make sure you subscribe of course and make sure you tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend and to tell another friend so thank you so much guys and until next time bye bye bye